In this episode, we're going to cover a feature that was added to the uh, basic license for the uh, Elastic Stack in version 6.5. Uh, the feature is called uh, Data Visualizer, and to get to it, um, in your main screen, your main landing uh, screen for Kibana, you'll notice about halfway down the page, there's an upload data from log file um, block, and there's a link beneath it. So just click on the link. And this will take you to a screen that most people haven't seen uh, that have had access to the basic stack. This is the machine learning menu, and um, while most of the features are, are grayed out and non-functional, uh, this is where the data visualizer, visualizer resides. Um, there are a couple different formats that you can ingest. Uh, common CSV, everyone wants to, to have a data in a CSV, so that's uh, the, the ability to upload as a CSV is there, as well as new line uh, delimited JSON. Um, and for, for the purposes of this demo, we're just going to be loading a CSV. Uh, it's worth noting that you can only load files up to 100 megabytes in size. Uh, this is key a key feature for the Elastic Stack, and this is the first time users have been able to upload any kind of file into Elastic through the Kibana UI. So let's get started on this. I'm going to select or drag and drop a file. I'm going to use the zip codes data set that I've used in a previous video. It's essentially a CSV with the zip code and the latitude and longitude. Go ahead and open. Uh, so the menu will go through and uh, the application will go through and, and look at the data, the first thousand lines of the data, and just try to figure a few things out. In the summary section, you can see, again, it reported that it looked at a thousand lines of this file. There's over 30,000 lines in this data set. Uh, trying to figure out how it's delimited, uh, identifying the, the delimiting field, and it's also looking to see if there's a header row. Uh, where that's important, as you can see below, that it hasn't really identified any header rows, so it doesn't know what the data really is, except that it's an element in a, in a list uh, delimited by commas. We can go in and change that by clicking the Override Settings uh, button. And at the bottom of this Override Settings menu uh, are the field names that it has seen, so it, or assigned. So it's column 1, which I know is zip code. Column 2 is lat. And column 3 is longitude. And I'm going to apply that, and you'll see the menu update here with those values in the file stats section. Um, if you're familiar with the, the machine learning uh, application itself, this is kind of a familiar menu. It looks at some of the fields and some statistics based on, on those fields. Uh, we're not really going to do anything in this demo except just move into the import section and talk about that in a little bit more detail. So I'll click on the import button. There's a simple view and advanced view. In the simple view, I can just assign an index name and it will ingest the CSV as three fields. We can do that right now. Uh, geo simple. Hit the import and it will create an index and process the file, upload the data, and create an index pattern so we can start looking at it. So if I go to the discover screen and hit refresh, you'll see that my geo simple data has been ingested and I have all the fields that were in the CSV. Um, but I've noticed that, that one thing we want to really do with this data to make it actionable is to create another data element which is uh, not visible in the data set but we want to create through ingest. So I'm going to go back to Kibana uh, to the uh, data visualizer menu. Uh, I'm going to reset this and basically start over in my navigation. I'm going to upload the file. I'm going to override the settings and change the field names again. Latitude, longitude. I'm now going to do the import, head over to the advanced screen where I can again assign it a name. Geo advanced will be the name of my index. Uh, and it will also create an index pattern for me of the same name. Uh, what we're going to do differently here is I can set some settings on this index. I'm going to leave that blank for now. What I really want to focus on is just getting the data the way I want it in Elasticsearch. So I'm going to change the, the latitude to a float. I'll change the longitude to a float as well. The zip code will be along. I'm going to add a new field uh, to this data. It's called location. The type is geo point. Now we don't have the geo point in the data, but we're going to create an ingest pipeline that's going to create that location element, that location geo point data. We do that in the ingest pipeline section. So if you're familiar with ingest pipelines in Elasticsearch, this is the same syntax. We're just applying it in this UI. So I want to create a processor. I'm 
and that processor is append. It's processors. That is append. We're going to give it a field. And that field is location. And the value that we're going to select is the value that's coming from the the data that's flowing through um, the ingest, and that is um, the latitude and longitude. We're going to combine those into one data element called location. All right, that's latitude and longitude. Okay, there you have it. So this is, uh, let's just quickly run through this explanation again. Um, these are my mappings to tell Elasticsearch. This is, these are the fields that I want and the types that they should be. Uh, location is a new field that we're assigning, and we're obtaining that by combining the latitude and longitude into a new field called location. All right, let's hit the import. So it's processing the file. It's created the index. It's created the ingest pipeline, uploaded the data, and it's created an index pattern. So now I can right click, open this view in, didn't discover in a new view, and I should see my data uh, represented in the values that I wanted. So you'll see the latitude and longitude are, are numbers there. But also I now have a location, a geo point within each of these entries. And you can see that signified by a globe that's a little icon we've given a location data type. Okay, that's it. Uh, thank you for joining.